Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I had a little bit more to add about the aggressor victim paradigm and the role that men and women are playing in the third and fourth dimensions. First, keeping in mind that most of us have had an approximately equal number of incarnations as men and as women. As you may know, uh, in men on earth today, the, uh, the drive to aggression because of the hormone balance of men is greater than the drive to aggression amongst women. Um, and what that leads to quite frequently, although sometimes the roles are reversed, is men being the aggressors uh, in, a, say, a, uh, romantic situations. And in the worst cases where uh, there is n negative aggressive emotion in the, in the electromagnetic field of a, of a man, as the, um, as the clearing takes place, he can act out his aggressions quite frequently, as any law enforcement officer could tell you, this aggression is directed to those physically closest to him. And in most cases, this is the man's family. Okay, so as with any stressor, uh, I think that you'll find as the clearing continues that men have a tendency to express negative uh, uh, soul wounding in the area of aggression uh, more than women. So, uh, and in general, in the third and fourth dimensions, aggression uh, is a feature of uh, that creates this this duality play. Whoever it is that's expressing aggression. Is, is interacting in the etheric net arena or, and in the electromagnetic field arena with people who are expressing, expressing victimhood, okay? And, and that is the major feature of the third and fourth dimensional duality play, uh, the expression of aggression and the expression of victimhood. So if you switch to uh, that, I remember years ago when I was watching TV, I used to watch Lifetime Channel for Women. I remember that channel. And every day it would feature situations where men uh, were abusive to women and women would get, get their say, they would get their what for um, back. They would somehow... Uh, accuse the men of something, and then they would be recognized by society for having revealed the, the depth of iniquity of the man, right? <laughs> and that's not really quite the way reality is. That's a way that the duality play was constructed. So, and so, if you say to yourself as a woman, I have the short end of the stick, you're not really where it's at with regard to the awakening. Because... If you're a woman, for sure, in your last lifetime or the time before, you were a man, okay? You were the aggressor, all right? And, the, and in, your, um, in your blueprint are the modes of expression and the past lifetime experiences of both men and women that you've in, whose roles you've enacted on earth. All of those are going to need to clear not just your current state of feeling to be a victim, but also all your prior states of having been the aggressor. <laughs> and vice versa. For men, you have within you uh, many, many lifetimes of victimhood as a woman that need to clear. And many, many lifetimes of, a, of aggression as men. It, and when I say this, I'm, I don't mean to minim, minimize your higher mental body's activity uh, and your spiritual nature. It's just that the lower mental body, the desire elemental during these lifetimes, expressed these um, what you might call feral drives or animal instincts. And, so, and that kept us on earth in the play, right? Uh, aggression, uh, the desire to 
to be motherhood, to, to, to take care of children. Um, is there anything else? The desire to protect territory, um, the desire to mate, and so the, the birth experience and the death experience are the other two which stand without, outside of the, um, the, the feral instincts but are just basic to the human experience.